guys, it's Brittany and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing a Trader Joe's haul, which is my favorite type of haul to share. And I'm going to be sharing what fall items I picked up this year. I will give the disclaimer that I didn't go too crazy. I tried to rein it in. I feel like at this time of year, I buy so much fall stuff. And in reality, a lot of Trader Joe's fall stuff is a lot of sweet stuff. So I tried to have some self-control. So it's not like a ton, a ton of fall stuff, but I did pick up a couple fun fall items that I'm excited to share with you all. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Brittany and on my channel I primarily do grocery hauls, some cooking content. I do day in the life vlogs. I'm a stay-at-home mom so I like to share content about my life taking care of my little baby boy Isaac. So if that is content that you're interested in, I would love to have you join my small but growing YouTube family. Hit the subscribe button below and make sure you give this video a like. It really helps my channel out a lot. And with that, let's go ahead and jump into the haul. So I have to pull my cold stuff out of the fridge. So we'll go ahead and start with some of the non-cold stuff. So I picked up some snacks. These I actually picked up for my son Isaac, who's about to turn at nine months old. They're cereal bars. This blueberry walks into a bar. Such a cute name. And I know I've heard people talk about these. I looked at the box and the ingredients are honestly not bad for a processed snack. He hasn't had that many processed. Honestly, he hasn't really had any processed foods yet. So I, I'm a little bit careful right now about what I give him. But these didn't look too bad. So I figured this would be a good way to start him on some like more toddler snacky foods. And I actually just fed him one of these when we got home and he loved it. He actually ate the entire thing. So I got blueberry and then strawberry. And I like these two. I've actually never tried the Trader Joe's ones because I'm pretty sure a while ago they used to have a nut peanut warning, but I could be wrong. So it's good to know that he does like these because Aldi obviously sells a version of these as well that I could probably just get him. And I know their snack foods are pretty good as well. So as far as like having clean ingredients with not too much extra additives, it depends on what you get, but some of their stuff is good. Okay, these I picked up because Derek literally said last night that he was craving Pop-Tarts. So these are organic frosted toaster pastries, strawberry flavored. I don't know if they'll be any good, but I think they're, they'll be worth a try. Honestly, those kind of snacks are nice to have for this time of day. I'm filming it's like 2.30 and I'm getting snacky. Because I ate my lunch like super early in the car on the way to a doctor's appointment at like 10.30. Because today has just been kind of one of those days where my schedule feels all out of whack. Do you guys, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm getting off track. Also, if you hear noise in the living room, Isaac's in there in his bouncer watching Paw Patrol. And he's starting to fuss. So I might have to regroup and do this later. Um, I picked up some salsa verde. My mom recommended this. And we're actually out of salsa. So grab that. Just grab some apple cinnamon oatmeal. I've never tried Trader Joe's version, but we're actually out of oatmeal, so good timing. So we'll try that. Grabbed a little bit of produce. I haven't meal prepped for Isaac in a while. So this week I'm gonna make him some sweet potatoes. I got a sweet potato, a bell pepper for me for snacking and dinners, some yellow squash, and is that all the produce I got? I think so. I didn't get that much produce because I plan to go to either Walmart or Aldi later this week and typically when I go to Trader Joe's especially when I'm in a pinch I try to just focus in on the stuff that they only have you know what I mean picked up these salt and pepper chips I've had them before they're super good how do I describe them like it's kind of like okay sour cream and onion you know how it's got that kind of powder coating on it that's what these chips have on it but they taste like salt and peppery, if that makes sense. But they're really good. I like to eat them with my sandwiches for lunch. And we actually don't have any potato chips right now. So it was good timing. Picked up another bottle of my favorite enchilada sauce. Although I know I have some in the pantry. But while at Trader Joe's, why not? It's not going to go bad. And um, I actually just made enchiladas last night. They're so good. I don't make them that often. And then when I make them, I'm like, I should make these more often because they're so good. Picked up this organic tomato and roasted red pepper soup. This was on an end cap for fall, but I'm pretty sure they carry this year round and I have not tried it, but tis the season for soup and I've really been enjoying soup for a quick, easy, relatively healthy lunch. So I wanted to give that a try. I picked up some cranberries. We're out of these. I like Trader Joe's a lot. They're really good price and I like these for oatmeal, baking. 
They're just really convenient to have on hand. Also, tis the season for cornbread. I'm going to make chili soon, so I picked up a box of that. I have tried Trader Joe's cornbread before, and it's super good. I just love all their baking mixes. I highly recommend them. Going to make a Cajun um, Alfredo thing in the crock pot this week. So I picked up um, some penne for that. And their uh, pasta is actually really inexpensive. This whole bag was only 99 cents. I probably should have picked up some other pasta as well. Let me go check on Isaac because he's fussing. Some other baking mixes I picked up. Well, this is a cornbread stuffing mix. So this isn't a baking mix per se. But I thought this would just be nice to have in the pantry. Occasionally I'll make like a chicken and gravy in the crock pot. And I thought that would be a good side. What are you doing, monkey? What are you doing? You're being silly. You're being a goose. Anyways, so pick that up. I picked up this pumpkin bread muffin mix. I actually don't have a pumpkin bread mix in the pantry. And I like to make that around Thanksgiving time or honestly like this time too. I do have an apple cinnamon muffin mix from Aldi in the pantry. So I figured I'll be stocked up on my fall baking mixes for all my fall baking needs. And then I picked up some taco seasoning packets because I'm actually out of my homemade taco seasoning. So I need to make some more. But in the interim, I thought it would be good to have a couple of those on hand. And Trader Joe's packets are actually really really good better than like the old El Paso kinds and yeah Isaac's over here playing with the groceries and don't worry I'm holding him really really tightly and then I've got some yellow squash that we're gonna bake up for Isaac this week and then these dark chocolate sun butter cups yes that is four bags of them because guys the last couple times that I've been to Trader Joe's, like my location, I went to a different location today. They didn't have any. And literally it's been two times I've been there in a row and they haven't had any. So I saw them today and I got not four, five bags. I have one on the other counter that I've already broken into. They are so good. Like if you've never had sunflower butter, you're missing out because honestly these from what I've heard from people are better than Reese's. Like some people prefer them more than Reese's. But of course I don't know because I have a peanut allergy. You wanna be in the vlog? Are you being a goose? Say yes, mama, I'm being a goose. He's honestly like, he's, he's a little fuzzy right now, but it's, he's been out most of the morning. But you had fun at Trader Joe's, right? <gasps> Did you have fun at Trader Joe's? <laughs> Yeah, it's so much fun to go see all this stuff and get new snacks. Ooh, we're making a mess. All right, let me go. Let's regroup in a minute. Isaac just went down for a nap, so we can go ahead and wrap up our haul. So on to cold and frozen stuff. I picked up my favorite mashed potatoes. They're frozen, and you just heat them up in a saucepan. I actually got two bags of these. Also, Thanksgiving's coming up, and I honestly may just do these instead because they're so easy. I was looking, actually, for their frozen sweet potatoes, but I didn't see them yet. So they're either sold out or maybe they don't come out till November. So I may have to go back to Trader Joe's next month to look for those because I love making them on Thanksgiving because it's such an easy shortcut. They taste homemade, and then I usually put, like, a streusel topping on top of them and bake it. And it's so delicious. It's like a dessert. So I really want to get those. So hopefully I can find them. Picked up some frozen mac and cheese, the hash green chili, and just the traditional mac and cheese. Roasted potatoes with peppers and onions. I really like these as breakfast potatoes. They're super, super tasty. Really well seasoned. Just super simple to make. So I like to have those on hand. I also picked up sweet potato fries. Haven't had those in a while, but they're always good. We like to make them with burgers or hot dogs. Figured Isaac could also munch on those as well. Restocked our favorite fire roasted corn. I feel like I've talked about this so much on my channel, but I use this for so many different things. Soups, taco night. It's just so good to have it in the freezer. Green beans. I love these ones specifically because they're really thin. So they're the extra fine French green beans. They also have something similar at Aldi now, so it wasn't totally necessary that I picked it up at Trader Joe's, but I feel like it's just such a, you know, it's a staple. Like, every time I'm there, I feel like the need to get them. <laughs> 
the raspberry and cream yogurt. This is a uh, lemon and raspberry flavored. So love these. They're not super, super healthy, but they're really nice like mid afternoon snacks. So normally I'll buy like two or three of these because they have a mango flavor and a peach flavor too that I really like, but I was trying to limit my spending today. So just picked up one pack. So I feel like I missed the window for all the fall stuff because I'm doing this so late. Today is October 23rd, which actually honestly isn't even that late, but you know, Trader Joe's, their fall stuff goes out in September. So I'm really behind the power curve with this. So they didn't have any of their regular butternut squash mac and cheese, but they did have these frozen mac and cheese bites. So I picked these up because I know that I like the butternut squash mac and cheese. So I'm assuming that if it's in a fried ball, it's going to be even more delicious. So I thought these might be fun for maybe like Halloween night to make for a snack too. So I'll have those in the freezer. But again, I think I'm going to try to go back to Trader Joe's at my regular location. See if I can get some of these additional items. They may just be out of stock too because I went shopping on a Monday and I'm sure they were slammed over the weekend. But if you haven't had the butternut squash mac and cheese, I highly recommend it. It doesn't taste like too squashy either. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's very delicious. I picked up a ton of breakfast stuff. So I just got a couple uh, plain Greek yogurt cups for Isaac. It's kind of nice because they're individual and I feel like those are hard to find. Usually you have to buy the big, you know, jumbo sized yogurt, which sometimes we do, do go through quickly, but recently we haven't been. So I figured these are nice because I can just like pull out a small amount and not have like an entire container open that I have to worry about going bad before I use it up. Picked up an absurd amount of pancakes and waffles and stuff, but I've been craving like frozen pancakes and frozen waffles and we actually don't have any and Trader Joe's are 10 out of 10. They're so good. They're so much better than like Eggos or any of that kind of stuff and the ingredients are generally a lot better. So I've had these silver dollar pancakes before. They're really good. I thought these would be good for Isaac too because I could just microwave like one or two for him. He could have that for breakfast. These blueberry waffles are so good. I almost got two boxes because they're just that good. But Aldi has their cinnamon waffles out right now for fall and I want to get a box of those. So I didn't want to like go too crazy with the waffles, but they're really good when you put them in the toaster oven. It just smell the smell. It smells like you're baking fresh blueberry muffins. Oh, I'm like drooling just thinking about how good it is. I'm also very hungry like I mentioned before. So all of this sounds so delicious right now. And then these Dutch grill cakes are new apparently. I haven't heard anything about them, but in the freezer section it had the new sign on them. So my mom picked up a pack, I picked up a pack, and I don't know if I'll share these with Isaac because he learned how to throw food to the dog now. So this morning I made him breakfast and he literally threw all of it to Oreo. <laughs> So I don't know if I want him wasting these precious pancakes because they look like they're pretty good. So these might be mama's pancakes or dad's pancakes too if he wants to try them. What else do we have? One non like grocery item. I picked up this pumpkin overnight face mask. I am excited to try this. I've heard very good things about it. And I have tried um, their face mask before. I tried their watermelon one in the summer. Wasn't a huge fan of that one, but I think this one is supposed to be really nice. So I will let you guys know. I will follow up in the comments about how I like this because I actually just decluttered a bunch of my face masks because they were super old. So I thought that one would be nice to have on hand. The reality is I feel like as a mom, the amount of time you can spend on your skincare routine is like not a lot. So I don't need a million face masks, but on those nights where I feel like I just want to do like a little bit extra, it'll be fun to have that on hand. More grocery items. I picked up this sugar cookie dough. Do we need this? Absolutely not, but looks fun. And this would be really good. Yeah, so you can roll it out and cut it into shapes too. Isaac's too young for us to do Halloween cookies, but for this time of year and with Christmas coming up, this would just be so convenient to make and the ingredients look really good, like minimal ingredients. Well, the camera's not focusing, but the ingredients look really good on this. So we're going to try this. Derek loves sugar cookies, so he'll be probably really excited for that. Oh, one more breakfast item. I got these chocolate chip, 
Chip Mini Pancake Puffs. I don't know how to pronounce that, but Derek's cousin Abby was telling me how she loves these. So um, I'm going to try these. And we just had over the weekend for my last Trader Joe's haul, I got the apple, is it apple cinnamon oatmeal puffs or bites? And they're frozen and you cook them in the oven and they were so good, but I didn't see them today. So sad about that. Isaac liked them also and it was great. We ate them before church. They were super easy. They were great with a cup of coffee and they're pretty healthy. So the next time I go, I'm going to have to look out for those. I don't know if those are like a seasonal item. I didn't see them in the breakfast area, but she says these are really good. And there's also like a maple syrup version, but I went for the chocolate chip one. So we'll try those and see how they are. I got some of my favorite pimento cheese dip. Love this with crackers for an afternoon snack or on sandwiches too. It's just really good on a lot of different things. I got some of their deli grilled chicken breast and we're gonna do um, Caesar salad with that for either lunch or tomorrow. I got this pizza dough, which I've never tried before, but I've heard it's good and it's literally like, it's in the, um, like the cold section and it's not frozen, it's literally like stretchy in dough form. <laughs> and you just spread it out and you bake a pizza with it. So I was thinking we can maybe either do grilled chicken, Caesar salad, maybe tomorrow for dinner with a small pizza. So that's what I'm thinking to do with that. But I wanted to try that. We made homemade pizza dough like a month or two ago and it was so much work and I kind of am like, I don't really think it's worth it. If you're really into baking, it probably is worth it, but it was such a mess. We're just not in that phase of life right now with Isaac where it is feasible or fun to like attempt to make a dough from scratch like that. So I thought that would probably give us the taste of a homemade pizza while keeping it really easy and not a lot of mess. You know what I mean? And then the last thing I picked up is Unexpected Cheddar Cheese. This is a favorite of mine. I get it almost every time I go to Trader Joe's. And I love it for snacking with crackers, but it's also super good on salads as well. So I think that was everything. Let me grab my receipt and I'll tell you guys the total that I spent for everything. So here's my receipt. I'll quickly scroll down and then you can pause it if you want to look at the individual prices of everything. I'm laughing because I looked at how much I spent on those chocolates and five of them were $17.45. So that was so much money, but in my opinion, it's worth it because I love those so much and I don't get them that often. So the grand total was $150.79, which I don't think is awful. I got quite a lot and a lot of this stuff is going to last us for a long time. So that concludes the haul. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Comment below. Let me know if you hit up Trader Joe's this year for fall. Let me know what you picked up. What's your favorite fall item? I know people before have told me the maple popcorn is really good. That unfortunately they did not have. I really wish I got the butternut squash mac and cheese. That would have been awesome because that's so good. So I might, again, I might pop by in the next couple weeks and see if I can get some items that I didn't get. But I hope you enjoyed. Again, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Comment below and say hi and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys all have a really, really happy ha Halloween if you celebrate and then we're on to Thanksgiving. So again, make sure you stick around because I will plan to be sharing some Thanksgiving content, some Thanksgiving food ideas in the next couple weeks. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. <laughs>